Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really dramatic, really super cool eye look for you guys. If you want to find out how I did this, let's go ahead and get started. So to start, I already applied some e.l.f. eyelid primer and some tape to the outer part of my eye. And for this, I'm going to be using e.l.f.'s new limited edition beauty books for Halloween. And I am going to be using the Wicked one, which is absolutely gorgeous. These eyeshadows have amazing pigmentation. If you haven't picked one of these up already, I highly recommend that you do so. So first I'm taking this kind of really shimmery gray silver eyeshadow and on an e.l.f. blending brush I'm going to be using that in the inner corner of my eye just to kind of have a little like bright spot with the eye makeup. Everything that I'm going to be using in this look is by e.l.f. except for my mascara because I don't have an e.l.f. mascara. But I really wanted to do this because I'm so incredibly impressed with these beauty books. Next, I'm going to be taking this really pretty kind of deep emerald green color and on a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be applying that to the middle of my lid and bringing that out as well really, really far because I really wanted to make this look super dramatic and out there. And I just went back in and built up the color and then blended it in with a clean blending brush. Also make sure that you blend the silver and the green really, really well together. Then I'm going to be taking this matte black color, which is absolutely gorgeous and it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing black eyeshadow. And on another clean e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to be focusing that black eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eye. And then of course blending that in so it's nice and flush with the other two colors that we already applied. And then of course going back in and blending, blending, blending. Then I took some black e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and just created a really dramatic cat eye which I pretty much do in all of my makeup so I don't even know why I always put this stuff in there but I don't know. So just do a really, really big, huge, dramatic cat eye with this if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay too. And then you can go ahead and remove the tape. Then I'll be using the black eyeliner that it came that came in the beauty book and I'm going to be applying a little bit of that to my bottom waterline. And then on this really small Real Techniques brush, I'm going to be taking that same green color that we used and apply that to the um, lower lash line just because I thought it looked really cool and I thought it tied in the green really, really well together. So I just did that on the bottom part and just kind of blended that in. Next, I just curled my eyelashes and applied some CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then the Beauty Book also came with some false eyelashes, which just look like this. They're super wispy, super pretty. So I just used some e.l.f. eyelash glue and applied these e.l.f. eyelashes to the top of my lash line, making it, you know, as close together as I can. And then this is what the eye look looks like. So the eyelashes just kind of bring it all in together and I think it's a really pretty eye look. I'm super impressed with these eyeshadows. But we're going to move on to the lips and this is super super cool because in the actual e.l.f. beauty book it came with a lip color and I'm so so excited because the lip color is actually a black lip gloss. It's absolutely gorgeous so we're going to go ahead and use that. First I'm just going to use some black eyeliner just to kind of line my lips a little bit so you know the lip gloss has something more to stick to and I have kind of an outline as to where I want to go. And I kind of overdrew my lips a little bit on the dramatic side just to make it really like pop and stand out because I really wanted the black lips to like you know just be really really out there. So the black lip gloss, lip gloss just looks like this and I was actually really impressed with that as well so I just applied a good amount of that to my top and bottom lip and then I went back in with a q-tip to clean up any messes. And then here is what the finished look looks like. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is perfect for like a last minute Halloween makeup. If you want to go to like a bar or anything, I think this would be really cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys thought and I would love to hear it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.